short masks. Had very few to go all the way around to everybody who has to be out there on the street and interacting with folks who um, might have been infected with COVID-19. Without that protective gear in place, um, we end up losing them when they to the to the quarantine. How can we solve this problem? There's filters out there on the market that that are still on shelves in stores. I realize that we have these masks that protect us in other circumstances, these full respirators that, that provide an airtight seal. I kept thinking there's gotta be a better or a longer term solution that we, can, that we can do and potentially could engineer. There's a 3D printing company just down the road from where you live. So we got a call from Eric at the Milwaukee Police Department. He needed to adapt any sort of off-the-shelf filter that he could find to work with masks that they had in stock. They needed a large number of these, so it needed to be 3D printable at a very fast rate. So less material, the better. And it also needed to be able to fit a both mask and an off-the-shelf filter that he could find in large quantities. So we used the HP MJF 5200. It's the fastest machine we have here. and each day we could get between 125 and 250 adapters, depending on how many runs we did. We took the dimensions from an actual mask cartridge that they had, and we reverse engineered it in SolidWorks. From there, we tested that thread, we made sure it fit, and then we tried putting a filter onto it. We gave it the geometry that it needed, and we got a working prototype that day, basically. The initial prototype filter, we found that we couldn't source enough of, we ended up talking with Milwaukee Tool, and we actually utilized a filter from one of their battery-powered portable vacuum cleaners. And they were able to get a 600 next day. Equipment engineers from Milwaukee Electric Tool, we have their 3D printing experts matched up with the 3D printing experts here from GSC. We have all the right people in the room to be able to give us the best design. We have an airtight seal on that filter, which we can now attach to our um, standard respirators. The guys at the street need to have confidence in this, as well as the people at the top have to have confidence in a solution that's engineered on site. This solution would actually um, filter the virus uh, in the air. From product design and, and conception of the idea to an actual fielded part in five and a half days. We hope to be able to field 450 units. Prior to this technology, really, I don't know of a way it could have been done. You definitely have to have the expertise with the rapid development and rapid prototyping of this stuff, because without that, how are you gonna have any confidence? I, I would put this product on right now and walk into a room with somebody who has the disease and, and be absolutely confident that I'm protected from it, no question going into that environment when you have to ride in the ambulance with somebody who's exhibiting symptoms and everybody else has respirators, well now you have something that's protecting you too. That gets right at the heart of what it is to be a police officer.